Hello, my name is Jeff Gallegos, Double G. I'm a musician here in Los Angeles, and I was recently invited to speak at an event called LA 2050. And that was a way that we could envision the city of LA in the year 2050 as it would relate to the arts. So, myself as a musician, I'm thinking, okay, what can I say? A lot of good ideas floating around. And I walked in the bank and I saw this magic trick. <clears throat> and I was like, okay, here's what I'm going to talk about. So the magic trick is easy. It's how to make a mortgage application disappear. And anybody can do it. All you need is a pen. Where it says occupation, you write the word musician. And abracadabra, your, your mortgage application has vanished without a trace. So rather than keep that as a reality, because the truth is in 2013, most artists can't even afford to live in the artist district because the rent is so high. So let's fast forward, do a little Wayne's World. 2050. In the city of LA, all over the city, in every council district, is a big apartment building that is put aside for musicians to live. And on the bottom floor is practice rooms, place to rehearse, place to play. So we have all these, these musicians living all over the city. Um, each, of the, each of the places, each of those buildings has a house orchestra, house musical ensembles, and different ways that the, these musicians collaborate with each other. In addition to that, near each one of the buildings is an arts magnet high school. So now, all of this is being accomplished with no expense. What, the way it works is this, is the owner of the building is, is waived their, their state property tax. So the state of California says, okay, you're going to put that building aside for musicians, we don't, you don't have to pay tax. Uh, the tenants take care of their own plumbing, their paint, their wear and tear, stuff like that. And the owner, the only thing he has to spend money on is keeping the building up to code. And it's real easy to do that. So each month, the tenant, each tenant pays $400 for their rent towards the code, towards that expense. And in exchange for that low rent, each tenant has to participate in the house ensembles, contribute musically to the, to the people that live there, participate in the recordings, performances, etc., and teach private lessons at the Music Magnet High School. Um, and the way they get into the building is kind of like a combination of how somebody applies for an O-1 artist visa, which is demonstrating exemplary ability, and the way somebody applies for Section 8 housing, which is demonstrating financial needs. So every tenant has that put together, and they also have to stay in L.A. for a while. So uh, musicians that go on extended tours aren't eligible for this program. Um, you have to stay there. It's a residency type of thing. And what ended up happening is by 2050, the federal HUD program found a way to subsidize part of the expenses for this. So we get federal HUD grants by having this program in the city of L.A. In addition to that, each of the council members hosts a Battle of the Bands at Hollywood Bowl every summer, and we all go check it out. And we hear the incredible music that's being created around our city. And one thing that started happening is around 2030, all these musicians started moving to L.A. So by 2050, we got these incredible cats. It's like more so than Vienna was in 1790, more so than New York ever was. In, in 2050, L.A. is the place to be if you're a cat. I see that future for this city. And we can do that very easily. Um, it's important. 2013, let's come back to 2013. Take the DeLorean back here to the present. Myself, as a 42-year-old mid-career musician, even managed to gain some respect. Good resume, a lot of experience. I can't make my rent. Without my wife, I'm homeless. I'm on the street. So this is a real issue. This is a real thing for our city. It, it impacts those you wouldn't expect. And so my off my... My two cents for the LA 2050 is I'd like to see affordable and subsidized housing for musicians and artists of all kinds. So we can have a cultural city that's like a cultural reservation for, for new work, new art. Thank you very much.